Moving on from that one, we have this clip also, courtesy of DJ Academics. Um, it's soon to be coming up, I guess, from his podcast, which is called Off The Record. He actually managed to sit down with Lil Dirk. He's been tweaking or tweaking. He's been twerking for this interview for a while. And um, it seemed like it probably wasn't going to happen because of all the beef that's been happening with NBA Youngboy and whatnot. But I guess all promotion is good promotion. So Lil Dirk decided to sit down with um, with the uh, academics for a free hour flipping interview, which should be flipping sick. And he touches on some topics. The first one being um, why he despises rats and why he's against snitching in general. And I thought his reasoning behind it was pretty fair and made a lot of sense. Don't get me wrong. The whole infatuation that people have in general with you know dissecting and talking about the street life and hood politics and gang stuff is ridiculously cringe but i also understand if you're somebody that comes from that life why you would have this type of perspective when it comes to snitching if you if you ever told you ever tell i hate you like with a passion like cause that took that took away half of my that took away that made me who i am today that took away half of my life like Motherfucker telling them my pops and not and that's what, you know what I'm saying I need it, so I was raised by a woman. You know what I'm saying which is my mama who taught me where everything I know. So I really hate rats with real passions. Like I hate you, bad. I look <laughs> to the camera. I hate fucking rats. <laughs> okay, pretty clear. And I can completely understand why he would hate rats if he came from that kind of um, background. And he has that history of people in his family being locked up um, for life because of other rats and kind of you know being taken away from him in that respect fair enough the thing that's always kind of got me and why i've always kind of been perturbed by the whole snitching thing and what's kind of really kind of bummed me out about being a criminal in general is that for me the only thing that i kind of hate about the whole snitching thing is the idea that somebody that you plotted with that you sat down broke bread with and kind of you know live tro chose to live this life with can decide somewhere along the line whenever they're kind of not feeling comfortable whenever they're kind of feeling a little bit you know sad or they want to go back home or whatnot they can just decide to rat you out the other thing that's always kind of bummed me out we can be friends we can be cool we can be down and then one day you could just wake up and say you know what i don't want to do this anymore and now suddenly my life is in jeopardy now because you've had a crisis of confidence that's the one thing that i can't stand i think if you're a civilian and you see something happening on the streets and you want to call the police fair play do what you need to be doing but i've just never liked the idea of other gang members who you know conspire with other gang members to take part in crimes and then because the heat is too much or because the reality of prison life is now staring you in the face or because of the consequences are now coming to your door now suddenly you want to tell that for me is like the complete opposite of being honorable of a kind of standing on what you believe in or representing your set in some way shape or form but then on the flip side of things you start to think of it and think you know that saying there's no honor amongst thieves is true to an extent you can't really expect people who lie cheat and steal for a living to have any level of moral compass or principles in the slightest so to sit there and be surprised when somebody close to you snitches is really dumb because the only way they can snitch is if they're close to you and they know what you get up to. So you kind of have to have in the back of your head that, hey, this could always be a situation. But I always thought to myself, if I ever was to choose a life of crime, the only thing that I would be willing to do, right, would be to do like a Mr. Robot type of deal, where essentially you're this kind of big drug kingpin but you operate from the shadows. You're kind of just operating through telegrams. You're operating through WhatsApp, through dark webs and shit. And you're just running an operation by yourself. And maybe you're doing it all through the post. Maybe you're doing it through courier services. But the idea of being part of a gang and having that be cool for the moment and being able to intimidate your enemies and enact revenge and look really cool in a club and throw up your flipping set and whatnot, that's all well and good. But once the police sirens come blaring down the street, and everyone gets pulled into individual individual interview rooms suddenly the reality of the situation becomes stark and the one guy that you plotted all your plans with is now kind of ratting you out to the authorities and giving all the flipping details of what you did and now here you are in prison for flipping life so if you can't do a mr robot type level operation where you're just on your own kind of running a thing then being part of a gang is just a, a folly to me because you know there's any situation that you could turn around that it could suddenly come and kind of bite you in the ass then there's another clip here um courtesy of the same interview where little Dirk speaks on the whole gunner thing and this is kind of unfortunate because i feel like in this clip 
especially this is another confirmation as to why some people aren't fans of academics because in general this is him inserting himself into the conversation he can argue and say i'm not inserting myself into the beef between little dirk and nba young boy but you know this kind of thing is kind of died down no one's really speaking about it as much but now you have the most prominent rapper out there in the industry and somebody who really made it a big thing to like you know state how much he hates rats and you're asking about such a high profile case and high profile person at the moment you're essentially stoking the fires again and essentially by proxy including yourself in the conversation and unfortunately if you're black especially in hip-hop and you're doing this type of thing you're not seen as like an unbiased independent media figure you're going to be treated as somebody that is kind of stoking the fires and kind of aggravating people so it's just unfortunate that Ak is kind of doing this um at the moment but you know media is media you got to do what you got to do and i thought dirk answered the question pretty straightforward i think you believe that gunner told that that Man, I don't sit up and play games, man. That man told. If you should have went in there and kept your mouth closed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought you were trying to reverse it. I'm like, hell no. I'm like, I just said, I know. that's a good bar. That man told. You should have. That's close. I, no, I just said, I'm I like, almost scares you. I'm like, yo, how did. Huh? <laughs> I'm like, I don't even gonna like. Hell no. I just never, I never, I never like, I follow. I, just, I don't know. I never like, why well, I didn't. I don't know. I just don't take that shit, Instagram and all that shit type of shit serious. But. If you a rat, you a rat. And if you rewind this clip a little bit, I looked into the camera and I told you, if you a rat, I fucking hate you. So I can definitely see where he's coming from. And that's got to be the only kind of negative if you're gonna, because you come out fair enough. You can't handle it in prison. I think we all saw the pictures of him. I think we could all tell as soon as we saw the pictures or the clip, I think specifically the clip of Young Fug and Gunner in court for the first time. And I think Young Fug was trying to speak to Gunner or trying and say, hey, how are you doing? Are you good? I, no, I think they were speaking to each other through the, through the, through the um, Zoom or something because they're in court together. And you could see from how sheepish Gunner was looking that he already had snitched. I think you could see from that point and the fact that he was kind of holding his stomach, he looked like he was going through withdrawals or whatnot. But you could see from that little brief interaction they had, Young Fug was in good spirits. He was trying to make some kind of level of communication with Gunner. And Gunner was just wasn't wanting to look, didn't want to look him in the eye and kind of looked a little bit down and a little bit sullen. And I think we could tell from that moment, Gunner has definitely said something to the authorities. And you can understand from a human point of view why he would do so right looking at what looking at how young fuck has been looking in court you know he looks really kind of you know clearly at somebody's in jail for a long time and is stressed out and stuff even though he's trying to keep a kind of good face on it recently he got took ill and whatnot it's not a fun situation no one's advocating for it but considering the fact that Gunner's charges weren't that great weren't that serious the fact that most likely if he would have sat, the theory goes out there that he wouldn't have spent that long in jail at all in the slightest. And now that he's come out after flipping, you know, cooperating, he now has to have that cloud hover above his head forever and ever. You think to yourself, like, is it worth it? Is it really worth it? Because you can't move around as well as you wanted to beforehand. And now you kind of have this label on you that you can never shake off. Is it really worth kind of deciding to do it? And it kind of goes back to the, the original point, which is maybe that's why people should avoid getting into a life of crime in the first place, because it's going to put you in situations where you're going to have to choose, where you're going to have to decide which way and where you stand in situations. And it's just unfortunate for Flipping Gunner that in this situation, he's now being kind of branded as a rat. And it's something that he's never going to be able to shake, no matter how good the music is and no matter who he kind of ends up licking, linking up and clicking up with now going forward. It kind of is what it is. But as a fan of the music, I'm here for the music and I think he's definitely going to put out some of his best work he's ever done, ever, ever put together in the history of his flipping life since he's come out, especially with this experience he's been having, in my opinion. But again, what do I know? 